So good morning friends welcome to PD classes today an important session for those who are preparing for full stack dot net developer interview and I hope in today's technical round not many new questions are being asked and over both channels you can enjoy PD classes uh, spoken English personality development body language so enjoy the our both channels PD classes as well as intro guide so I welcome first of all Siddharth to you thanks Siddharth uh, today we have RG also she'll accompany in this interview yes. Mr. Siddharth yes sir. what inheritance is and why it is important Okay, sir. Uh, inheritance is the concept of the uh, object-oriented programming, and it is very important uh, uh, together with uh, polymorphism and encapsulation. And it is similar to the class uh, in which we can declare it, but we cannot uh, implement the properties, fields, and uh, methods in in the implement in the interface. But uh, in its child class, we can implements its uh, uh, properties, uh, methods and fields. Okay. Can you tell me the difference between class and an object? Okay. Uh, object is the instance of the class uh, and class is the blueprint of the project. Okay. Um, and uh, when we create the object, that time class member get the uh, memory in the heap. Okay. And the difference between managed and unmanaged code? Okay. Both are the concept of C sharp and it, both are also very important and uh, managed code is uh, which uh, come in the guidelines of the .NET and CLR and unmanaged un code is that type of uh, code which uh, does not uh, maintain by the uh, CLR and uh, .NET framework. Yes, Arju, do you want to ask any question? Sure, sir. So, Siddharth, I want to ask you that why you want to be a software developer? Okay. Mm -hmm. I have had an interest uh, in computer and technology uh, for a long time. Uh, with the correct guidance, uh, I chose this subject in my senior secondary education. I studied thoroughly this subject and I found the various and vast opportunity linked to this career uh, that's why I turned my passion into my profession okay explain the difference between while and for loop okay both are the concept of C sharp both are very important while loop is used when we uh, given a sentence statement is true that time uh, while loop is used uh, and uh, for loop is used when we uh, given a some iteration and uh, we know how many time loop will uh, execute so that time we use the for loop okay yes are you please any questions tell me about your strengths my strengths are that i am quick learner and have a decent team spirit to work with everyone okay what's your weakness my weakness is that i can't say no to anyone uh, sometime it hampers my personal life okay Siddharth you tell me about your hobbies my hobbies are reading books and playing outdoor games tell me the difference between boxing and unboxing okay both are the concept of .NET technology uh, and uh, um, boxing is used when we want to convert the uh, variable from value type to reference type that time uh, this that process called the boxing and uh, when we use the uh, when we want to convert the uh, reference to uh, variable type that called the unboxing okay what is link you okay link you is the concept of c sharp and it was introduced in 2007 uh, and uh, link queue is used when we want to fetch the data from the database uh, and uh, we write some queries so that query is called the link queue okay discuss what garbage collection is and how it works okay garbage collection also the concept of c sharp and uh, garbage collection uh, when we want to release the object so that time we use the garbage collection okay okay now you tell me the following acronyms of dotnet like il uh, intermediate language and CIL common intermediate language MSIL Microsoft intermediate language CLI common language infrastructure very good JIT just in time okay explain the difference between stack and heap stack is less memory and heap is a more memory uh, in CPU in CPU okay and uh, 
uh, stack used for value type and uh, the heap is used for uh, reference types variables oh. yes difference between interface and an abstract class in dotnet okay both are the concept of object oriented programming and um, it both are very important concept and uh, I can say uh, both are similar, but uh, abstraction allow the concrete methods, but uh, interface don't allow the concrete methods. It also declare the methods, but it don't implement its child class implement those methods. Okay, explain deferred execution versus intermediate execution in Linkube. Okay, deferred execution is uh, execution is uh, when we fetch the data from the database. Uh, so that time we write the query. So that query uh, we don't uh, want uh, the data without the filters. So the deferred deferred query uh, use at that time. And uh, when we fetch the data with uh, some filter uh, filter methods like count sum, so that time we fetch the data from the database. So that execution called the intermediate, intermediate execution. Okay. What is a delegate in .NET? Okay. Delegates is very important uh, concept of the C sharp, and um, it. Uh, gets the reference of the methods and uh, with the help of delegate we can call uh, uh, many methods in single time can we implement a generic action in web api no we can't implement uh, generic function in the web, web api okay why can't we specify access modifiers for items in an interface okay by default uh, the access modifier in the interface is public so we don't have any uh, use the access modifier in the interface okay when break is used inside two nested for loops control comes out of which loop the inner or outer for loop okay suppose we have a both loop first one is parent loop and second is child loop and uh, if we put the break in the child loop so the iteration will become on the parent loop okay is system dot object is the parent class of all dot net class yes it is true okay now what are the various methods provided to system system dot object driving classes or types yes um, those are uh, two string uh, fine uh, equal with single parameter equals method with uh, double parameters and uh, finalize and more methods are there okay yes arju any more questions please okay. tell me about your family siddharth okay I belong to a lovely family. There are five members in my family. My father is a tailor and my um, grandmother is the head of my family and my mother manage house and my elder sibling, she is married. Okay. Do you want to ask any more question? Do you like to work alone or team? Okay. Uh, as I am a versatile person, uh, I would not have any problem working alone or team but i prefer to work with team because uh, it gets a lot done in small period of time uh, as well as uh, brain of many people uh, is contribute uh, to the efficiency to the of the task uh, and uh, if a situation needs uh, to work alone so I would not have any problem working alone. Okay. Discuss the difference between constant and read-only variables. When we declare the constant, constant, so that time it's must to implement it. Uh, and uh, after we cannot be implemented. And read-only is used uh, when we execute the program and at runtime we can implement it. Okay. So, yes. Okay. You opted computer. Uh, which class? you started uh, having an likeness towards computer when i was in uh, senior secondary education like in class 12th so that time i took interest in the computer okay you want to work uh, your own on in your life or you want to go for any job regarding this software developer my goal is uh, i want to uh, job uh, okay. for five years then i will uh, see my position and uh, uh, if i get enough knowledge so definitely i will uh, work for my for me 
Siddharth, what are your salary expectations? For me, growth opportunity is more important rather than salary. Okay. And what type of people you like to work with? Uh, as I am a versatile person, I would not have any problem to work, work with anyone. I want to work with a honest and punctual person. Okay. Although you have given a good uh, interview, now it's the right time to give certain tips to our students, those who are watching at last. If you are watching at last, student, definitely remember always one thing that first of all, you should work upon your communication skills. Your body language plays a vital role in your interview. And moreover, your CV. If you are having an attractive CV, definitely plays uh, important. And if you are having an experience, do highlight it. Definitely, that's it. Keep it up, uh, Mr. Siddharth.